Prince Harry's journey from crown jewel to royal outcast over the last tumultuous decade. There was a time when it seemed Prince Harry would become the future face of the royal family. He'd gained a lot of attention in his youth for his wild partying and often questionable choices. But that all changed when the Duke of Sussex turned 30. He turned his focus to his royal duties and made a real difference with the creation of the Invictus Games. Harry, along with his brother Prince William, was seen as the key to modernizing the royal family. But that all changed in the decade that followed. Eventually, he decided to turn his back on the first as he moved to America with his wife Meghan Markle and became a royal outcast after he betrayed family confidences with a series of interviews. Let's take a look back at Harry's journey from crown jewel to royal outsider. In his younger years, Harry earned a reputation for his wild parties. He was often seen hanging out in some of London's most popular nightclubs and he even had to explain himself after naked pictures of him emerged during a holiday to Las Vegas in 2012. He also admitted to trying cocaine but wrote in his memoir spirit that it didn't do any Anything for him. Luckily, Harry seemed to turn his back on his ruckus antics when he turned 30 back in 2014. The Duke of Sussex was no longer photographed stumbling out of nightclubs and instead turned his attention to his royal duties. He became a champion for wounded veterans and promised to bring a new era to the monarchy. The Invictus Games were founded by Prince Harry in 2014 to support wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans. He said the competition would provide a platform for us to showcase your abilities, to inspire the world, and to honor the sacrifices of those we lost. Meghan Markle started dating Prince Harry in 2016 after meeting on a blind date. The couple got engaged in November 2017 before completing their first official royal engagement together in December that year. They went on to tie the knot in 2018 in a wedding which was televised all around the world. At the time, it seemed as though Harry and Meghan's marriage would be the start of them working together for the royal family. However, tensions quickly started to show. Things came crashing down when Meghan and Harry announced their decision to step down as senior working royals 2020. They released a statement at the time and said they hoped to split their time between the UK and North America. Following the several shocking claims during his interviews, documentaries, and in Harry's memoir.